Nate was with the Montreal Canadiens at the time, and I was doing rinkside reporting, so had done a lot of games with Nate. So again, there just seemed to be a comfort level. And I happened to notice one game, and actually he and I share the same birthday. I was following him on Instagram. Oh, wow. <laughs> and so October 5th. And so I saw, though, he was celebrating his sobriety. And like you said, the ideas come from anywhere. I followed him on Instagram, saw that he was celebrating his sobriety and approached him and just said, would you be comfortable to share that story? And I think for him, it was an important part of his sobriety mm -hmm. is to tell his story, to have people see that, okay, I might be a famous hockey player making all this money, but you know what? And so anyone else out there, and I know I got a lot of feedback from people. Mm -hmm. I know he got a lot of feedback from people just thanking him for sharing his story, for being vulnerable.